Let's go to Zhang Viscera. Topic is heart relationships. Relationship of heart to other organs and tissues. Number one is governance of blood vessels manifests in face. As mentioned above, the heart controls the flow in the blood vessels, which are the pathways for the movement of qi and blood, so that both move in an orderly fashion and following designated routes in order to deliver nutrients to the entire body. Only when heart qi is strong can the normality of the physiological functions of heart blood be maintained. CM believes that the fullness or deficiency of the essential qi of the viscera can be revealed in the organs in the exterior of the body. This is known as the outward appearance of quintessence, the five zang organs each having its manifestation. Manifestation in the face means that changes in the color and luster of the complexion reflect the fullness or deficiency of qi and blood. If heart qi and heart blood are abundant, the complexion will be lustrous and moistened. Conversely, if heart qi and heart blood are deficient, the complexion will be pallid, lusterless. If heart blood is static, then the complexion will be cyanotic. If there is heat in the blood, the complexion will be red. If heart blood has collapsed, the complexion will be pallid and withered. And number two, opening orifice and tongue. This is known as a tongue is a sprout of the heart. The tongue is like a mirror that can reflect the heart's condition and functional state. A collateral meridian of the heart meridian of Han Shaoyin extends into the, to the root of the tongue. The heart's qi and blood pass through the meridians and reaches the tongue, thereby maintaining the tongue's normality and functions. The tongue has two main functions taste and assisting in the production of speech. Both functions depend upon the heart's functions of governing blood vessels and governing the mind. For example, if the heart's qi and blood are abundant, the tongue will be supple and agile, speech clear and fluent and taste keen. If qi and blood are insufficient, the tongue will be pale and taste blunted. If the heart fire flames up, the tip of the tongue will be bright red and the tongue may have ulcers or sores. If the heart blood is static, the tongue will be dusky or covered with sores. If heat invades the pericardium or phlegm obstructs the orifices of the heart, the tongue will be stiff and speech stammering. The pericardium is a membranous envelope of the heart. It is main physiological function is to protect the heart from injury and to promote the circulation of qi and blood. In the CM theory of visceral manifestation, the heart is the master zang organ and therefore must not be invaded by evil qi. Because the pericardium is a shield for the heart, CM believes that when evil qi invades the heart, it must first attack the pericardium. Hence, severe warm diseases manifested such mental symptoms as high fever, fainting, delirium, which are induced by the heat evil, are ascribed to heat entering the pericardium. Similarly, such symptoms as loss of consciousness and impeded tongue, which are induced by phlegm heat, are ascribed to phlegm obscuring the heart orifices. It is thus clear that the symptoms of disorder of the pericardium are actually manifestations of disturbances of the spirit. They can therefore be cured by methods of treating the heart. Hence, the pericardium is not an independent organ, but is really an appendage to the heart. Thank you so much for your attention.